Hello guys, I hope you all will be doing great. Welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV and today I'll be talking about how we can capture camera and read videos using EMGU CV. So let's get started. Let me create a new project by clicking on create new project. Select Visual C Sharp and then Windows Forms application. Give it any name, let's say Game Ape, and select any location that you want and click OK. Three things that we need to do always to use EMGU CV. The first thing is to add the references. Right click on references, add references, go to the place where you have installed EMGU CV and then go to the bin folder and select emgucv.world.dll in case of you can see the version of this emgucv since uh, i do not need others i only need this emgucv world and I click on add and then ok the next thing if you are using the 64-bit uh, operating system right click on the project go to properties and then go to build and in build you need to select the platform target to be 64. in case of 32 you don't need to do this and click on save last thing that you need to do is right click on the project a go to aid existing items go to the same location where you have installed emgu cv so go to C, C, bin, and here you can see X64. Just go select all files, and you need to select all these files, add, and that's it. So after adding these uh, EMGU uh, that open CV DLLs, you need to select them all. I think this form is also selected so I don't need to select it and then select this copy always so that they are available in the execution folder and let me build this that everything works fine so you can see the build is succeeded now what I want to do is drag a picture box and drop it so that I'll capture the camera all the videos and display them using this picture box and I prefer to use this menu item so let me use a menu strip one I just give it a name file the other one is uh, camera and one for video and I say that start and one is for stop and one should also be for pause let's see how pause works so uh, i want to make uh, separate objects for these so that we can uh, simplify it we can understand it easily so similarly i'll say start video capturing and say stop and then pause for pausing on stop I just want to destroy the object of the capture so let's start from the camera double click on the start and then this event will be shown what I need to do here is first need to create add this EMGU CV into my project so using EMGU CV dot CV dot structure these two are right now I'm using and uh, for capturing video and audio uh, video and camera we use the capture object of EMGU CV and I just call it the capture I make it uh, to be uh, you know within this class so that uh, all functions can have access to this capture object and on the start of the camera I would like to check if capture equals equals null if uh, the object is not created then I want to create the object capture is equals new capture and this is very important you can see there are four overloads of this fun uh, this uh, constructor one if we do not provide any uh, arguments then the default camera will be selected we can select various devices from the given NM 
and we can use the index also of the camera if you have multiple cameras and that are indexed with 0 1 2 and so on and also if we provide a string then it will uh, read of video files which we will see later i will use zero so that it will read my default first camera now what i need to do is capture dot if you go to this event icon you can see there is only one event that is image graved event and what it says the event to be called when an image is graved that is what exactly i want so once uh, an image is graved i will read that image into some you can say a variable and a display it in my image so let's do that plus equals and when you double tab it it will automatically generate that event for us let me write code a bit later but before that i need to start capturing it without starting it will not be able to uh, capture so we need to do this line it is very important so in the capture let me write a try catch block it is always good practice and uh, i want to create a mad object so mad m is equal to new mad and then now i want to retrieve that the image that has been graded by the capture and uh, write it into m so the retrieve method will write the image into m and what i will do is just show it in the picture box that image is equal to m dot let me convert into to an image of bgr comma byte and then convert it into bitmap property and assign it to the picture box so what is going on over here let me uh, tell you again on the start i just checked that if capture is not null then i created the capture object and assigned and the parameter is an integer zero means my default camera and this will read from my default camera then i defined a capture event i'm sorry for that capture event and whenever it will capture an event this event will be fired and what i did is I just created a made object and retrieve whatever it has been captured into made and then I display it into my picture box dot image by converting it into a BGR and the next thing is in the stop what I want to do if my capture is not equals to null sorry then I want to say that capture dot maybe capture is equal to null i just want to assign it to null and then in the pause i just want to also make sure that if capture is not equals to null i would say capture dot pause so it will pause capturing the video from the camera so that's that's it let me run this application and check what it gives go to file camera and start capturing so here you go and we can also check the camera and pause it it means it has paused and also the stop means it will not the object has been destroyed so it will not be we can start it again it's like so the camera is working fine and now uh, let's do it for the video uh, to make things simplified I just assume that the capture object is just being created for this video so I'm not going to use complicated if else for to check whether this is the camera or the video so if capture equals equals null we can say that capture is equal to new capture and at this time as I said to read a video we need to provide a string file name or the name of the path of the video so let me do one thing here i will allow the user to select the video so that open file dialog open file dialog is equal to new open file dialog and optionally we can ask the user to select only the video files so uh, open file dialog dot filter equals so we can provide a description for example video 
files and then followed by we can say dot mp4 only and then show this uh, open file dialog to the user and if he selects OK, that means dialog result dot OK. Then we can say that capture open file dialog dot file name. And then capture dot start. But before that, I want to define an event capture dot go to the same event I'm just creating another event for this one plus equals double tape this this event will be fired uh, for this object and inside this the code will be the same as that for the create event but I just want to make a little amendment here and to make sure since it is going very fast and uh, uh, what I need to do here um, I'll show you what is the impact of this thread dot sleep for say one millisecond why I did this I'll show you in a just a minute okay in a minute I'll show it to you let's run it and if it works or not one more thing that I just want to do it before uh, stop also it will be if capture equals equals not equals to null I just want to say that capture dot was that pause stop okay stop no need to do anything just I will make it a copy and do the same thing for pause as well dot pause okay let's run this application and check what it is going to give it for us file video start I need to select the location wherever it is traffic and I have downloaded so you can see it is very very fast as compared to the actual frame per second so let me do one more thing here so here comes the thread dot sleep very helpful it is just you can say an indirect solution for that an important point that capture has some properties let's say get capture properties and one property that I want to get is dot frames per second and since this get property gives a double I need to convert it into an integer since uh, this thread dot sleep assumes an integer value and here you go what it will do is allow this video to pause for some uh, milliseconds as assumed by the number of frames per second defined by this video so let's go and check it file video start selected so you can see this is the normal speed of the video that, that, that's why I use this thread dot sleep and uh, that's that for today's video and i hope you enjoyed it if you have any uh, questions or comments you can comment on my youtube channel thank you and hope to see you in next videos